Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on and welcome to another video. My name is Nathaniel Morton and I am a sports performance coach who specializes in basketball players. And in today's video, I'm going to give you the 20 best exercises that you could possibly do to increase your vertical jump and dunk a basketball. Now, keep in mind that these 20 exercises are just my opinion, but I have helped a lot of people increase the vertical jump. I am a vertical jump coach. I'm a sports performance coach, and I have used these exercises to increase my own vertical jump and plenty of my athletes. Over a thousand athletes, gotta be at this point. Um, but if you were to ask other sports performance coaches or other vertical jump coaches, they might have a few exercises here and there that they think are better than the 20 that I'm going to give you. But I'm willing to bet that 80% of the exercises that I tell you today, most vertical jump coaches will agree that these are the best exercises for you to do. So without further ado, let's get into the exercises and very quickly comment jump J-U-M-P down below in the comment section if you want a free vertical jump training program and link for me to personally be your coach and take your sports performance to the next level. Link for that will be down below in the description of this video and the pinned comment. Let's get it. Within these 20 exercises, ladies and gentlemen, I have split them up into two separate categories. I'm going to give you 10 exercises that are plyometrics and then 10 exercises that are strength training exercises using either weights or resistance bands. And these are in no particular order. It's not like I'm giving you the worst to the best or the best to the worst. These are just the 10 best plyometrics that I could think of and the 10 best strength training exercises that I could think of. So here we go. Exercise number one, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll start with plyometrics. Exercise number one is sprints. Yes, we're gonna ease our way into it because sprints are not the most, they're not the most fun and exciting exercise, but sprints are a staple if you want to increase your vertical jump. There's almost no better way to increase your reactive strength than by doing sprints. So exercise number one, coming in hot, we got sprints. And you could add hill sprints into that as well. Exercise number two, ladies and gentlemen, if we're going to talk about sprints, then we need to add in sled pulls or resisted sprints. So I was gonna put this in the same category, but I decided to make this two different exercises because we need sprints to improve our reactive strength, but we need sled pulls to work on our reactive strength, but it's a little bit less reactive strength and a little bit more force production. So if you have not already, I would add sled pulls or resistance sprints into your vertical jump workout plan. Coming in hot at exercise number three are power skips. I figured I would get all of the exercises out of the way where you actually need an open space to perform these exercises exercises, but power skips are an excellent exercise to increase your vertical jump, especially for one foot jumpers. These are a cheat code for one foot jumpers. So power skips, if you have not added power skips into your workout plan, you might want to do so. Also, remember that you're not going to do all of these exercises every single workout. Obviously, you're going to want to sprinkle them in here and there. So if you remember my last video where I talked about how to set up your workouts, first you do a warm up, then you do your speed exercises, then your power, then your strength then your hypertrophy, and then your prehab slash rehab exercises. You're going to take these exercises that I give you today and plug them into those categories. So if you work out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, on Monday during the speed exercises, you might add in sprints. And then on Wednesday during speed, you might add in sled pulls. And then Friday during speed, you might add in power skips. So don't, obviously don't do all of these exercises every single workout. Sprinkle them in here and there where they fit into your workout plan. Exercise number four has most definitely earned its spot in the top 10 plyometrics that you could do to increase your vertical jump and dunk a basketball. And that exercise is repeated dumbbell squat jumps. Ladies and gentlemen, this exercise is so underrated. This is one of the best possible exercises that you could do period to increase your vertical jump, okay? Dumbbell repeated squat jumps. It's just so great for the efficiency of your stretch shortening cycle to build explosive strength, force production, and rate of force development. So you gotta be adding these in, repeated dumbbell squat jumps. Exercise number five has definitely earned its spot on this list, and this exercise is depth jumps or drop jumps, okay? Depth jumps or drop jumps are, you need to be adding these into your workout plan, and the difference between depth jumps and drop jumps is depth jumps, you're going to drop off of a box and then try to jump as high as you possibly can, so there's gonna be a little bit of a longer ground contact time, whereas drop jumps, the goal, the, the coaching cue is to hit the ground, the floor is lava, hit the ground and jump up onto the next box or into the air as fast as possible. So depth jumps, you're trying to jump as high as possible, drop jumps, you're 
trying to get off the floor as quickly as possible. But exercise number five is depth jumps or drop jumps. You gotta be adding these into your plan if you want to jump as high as possible. Also, let me remind you that if you are a beginner, do not just jump into the advanced exercises and do all of these exercises that I'm giving you in this video. Make sure you go back and do proper regressions. Start with easier exercises. In the description of this video, I'm gonna tell you which exercises are for beginners and which are more advanced. Exercise number six is hurdle jumps. Guys, hurdle jumps are like depth jumps on steroids or drop jumps on steroids. When you do depth jumps or drop jumps, you drop off of a box, you hit the ground one time, and then you jump into the air or onto another box. For hurdle jumps, you are repeatedly jumping over the hurdles and then hitting the ground, jumping over, hitting the ground, jumping over, hitting the ground. So it's like depth jumps multiple times in a row or drop jumps multiple times in a row. Plus, if you set the hurdles kind of high, not so high that you, you sacrifice your form, but somewhat high that you really have to use the stretch shortening cycle efficiently. You really have to work to get up and over those hurdles. Hurdle jumps are going to be one of the best exercises that you could do to increase your vertical jump and jump higher. Exercise number seven is banded squat jumps. Now this one obviously only works if you have a band or two resistance bands. And the reason why this is so good is because the resistance bands after you jump in the air are pulling you back down. That is the great thing about bands. For Think about if you just do a regular body weight squat jump. A body weight squat jump is an excellent exercise. However, your stretch shortening cycle only works as fast as you pull yourself down and then explode back up into the next squat jump. For resistance band squat jumps, the bands are pulling you down faster than normal. So the bands help you pull yourself down quicker and then get up quicker. So they more efficiently work the stretch shortening cycle than just a body weight squat jump. So repeated banded squat jumps are an excellent exercise that you should add into your vertical jump workout plan to increase your vertical jump and jump as high as possible. Exercise number eight is banded pogo jumps. So the same exact rules apply for banded pogo jumps that I just talked about for banded squat jumps. The bands are pulling you back down, except now, we are not hinging at the knee, we are hinging at the ankle. So it's the same exact thing as banded squat jumps, except banded pogo jumps focusing on the ankle complex. Your stretch shortening cycle is working more efficiently than if you were just to do normal pogo jumps. So exercise number eight, banded pogo jumps. Exercise number nine, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I kind of squeaked this exercise in there because I couldn't think of a really good ninth exercise. I do have exercise number 10, but I wanted to save the best for last. So exercise number 10 that I'm going to give you next is by far the best plyometric exercise that you could possibly do to increase your vertical jump. But exercise number nine is low box pogo jumps. Okay, low box pogo jumps where you drop off of a low box and then you hit the ground, jump back on, hit the ground, jump back on. Like I said, I kind of squeaked this one in there. You could use a different exercise like like um, bounding. Bounding would be a really good exercise to put in this ninth spot as well. Single leg bounding, uh, double leg bounding. So low box pogo jumps are good, but I think this exercise could be interchanged for a different plyometric. But right now, that's what I got. Either bounding or low box pogo jumps. And last but not least, exercise number 10, the very best plyometric that you could ever do to increase your vertical jump is jumping. Thank you very much, mic drop, boom. Guys, when I say jumping, I'm talking about trying to dunk a basketball, low rim dunks, high object touches, trying to touch really high on, on, a, on a ceiling or a wall, um, trying to touch a vertex, trying to get your hand above the rim as high as possible. If you want to jump higher, you need to jump and you need to practice your approach jumps. Okay, your, your, your right foot approach, your left foot approach, your right left two foot approach, and your left right two foot approach. If you wanna jump higher, you gotta jump. You gotta practice your dunks, your jumping, et cetera, et cetera. So exercise number 10 is just approach jumps in and of themselves. I hope you weren't disappointed with that 10th exercise, but they really are that important. Guys, I'm not even gonna lie. I need like a halftime or something. I need like an intermission. Should we, let's go check out what my dog and my cats are doing for our halftime and then we'll get back to the show. Hey yo, you're on camera. Say hello to YouTube, do something cool. Speak, sit, lay down. Good boy. We've got my two cats right here and we are about to show you a trick. Right here we have a blank sheet of paper. Crinkle it up. Did you know that cats can climb ladders? Watch this. We take this piece of paper and then we throw it up there and 
Wow, look at that. A cat who can climb a ladder. Got your attention too. All right, guys. Back to the video. All right, guys, sorry about that. I just needed a little breather. I needed a refresher. I needed a halftime show. I needed an intermission before we get into the second part of this video. But here we go. The top 10 exercises that you could use with weights or with resistance. The top 10 strength training exercises that you could do to increase your vertical jump and jump as high as possible. Exercise number one on the list of 10 strength training exercises to increase your vertical jump and dunk on anybody sadly standing in the lane when you come through it is squats now i'm not going to go through all kinds of different squats okay we could do speed squats we could do front squats we could do back squats we could do goblet squats we could do joint angle squats we could do eccentric focus squats we could do isometric focus squats we could do time drop off squats like there's so many squats we could do but i'm talking about the normal back squat i'll leave it at that right there to increase your vertical jump and jump as high as possible you need to be doing squats exercise number two another compound lift that is going to give you the most bang for your buck when it comes to your vertical jump are deadlifts now you could do straight bar deadlifts even better than that are trap bar deadlifts i know not all gyms have a trap bar so if you don't have a trap bar just use a straight bar you can do sumo stance but it's not as it's not as effective as conventional stance where your feet are about shoulder width apart so in order to increase your vertical jump and jump as high as possible you need to be doing deadlifts and one thing i'll mention about all all of these weight training exercises, squats, deadlifts, and the rest of the list is you have to be moving the weights fast. You gotta be moving the weight with the intent to increase rate of force development. And keep in mind that the heavier the weight, the slower you're going to be able to move it. The lighter the weight, the faster you're going to be able to move it. So the heavier the weight is, the more you work on force. The lighter the weight is, the more you work on velocity. So the sweet spot for vertical jump is between 55 and 80% of your one rep max when doing squats or deadlifts. If you use weight that is between 55 and 80% of your one rep max, you will be working both force and velocity put those together increase your vertical jump as much as possible now you can go higher to be in a max strength phase you can be lower to be in a speed strength phase we're not even going to get into that just know 55 to 80 percent of your one rep max you work on both force and velocity to increase your vertical jump as much as possible exercise number three which if you are a single leg jumper you are going to need to be working these exercise number three is a rear foot elevated split squat rfess rear foot elevated split squat is just it's 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 the king of all single leg exercises when it comes to increasing your, your vertical jump now remember that you got to be moving the weights fast you can't just be moving the weight slow unless your goal is to increase strength or hypertrophy but to increase vertical jump remember move the weights fast and explosively to use that intent to increase force production explosive strength and rate of force development but rfess rear foot elevated split squat coming in at number three definitely deserves a spot on this list coming in at exercise number four and the king of power production itself is power cleans or high pulls okay power cleans are very good i know some basketball players don't like to put the pressure on the wrist so high pulls are a great alternative i'll put a video on the screen of what high pulls actually look like but when we're talking about increasing your vertical jump if you want to increase your force and your velocity at the same time like we just talked about on the last exercise power cleans are a great exercise to do both to increase both your force and your velocity because you need to use weights but you also need to move those weights fast and explosively to get the bar up so power cleans definitely definitely deserve a spot on this list or high pulls exercise number five are barbell hip thrusts now that we're talking about explosive hip extension we got to throw in the barbell hip thrust or hip thrust in general but i like to do it with the barbell one mistake that i see with this exercise a lot is people going slow okay that's great if you want to improve your strength but for this exercise you gotta be explosive with your barbell hip thrust so check it out what i'm doing in this video that i put on the screen make sure you do your barbell hip thrust explosively but this is a great exercise that you could do for explosive hip extension to increase your vertical jump and jump higher exercise number six is trap bar jumps now these are similar to deadlifts these are similar to dumbbell squat jumps but trap bar jumps deserve its own category because trap bar jumps are one of the best exercises that you could possibly do to increase your vertical jump but like i said look down in the description because this is an advanced exercise if you're a beginner do not do trap bar jumps if you're a beginner you got no business doing hurdle jumps 
with no business doing drop jumps or depth jumps. So make sure you look down below in the description of this video. But anyways, trap bar jumps, these are a great option to increase your vertical jump and jump as high as possible. Coming in at exercise number seven are step up variations. Now, I couldn't think of just one. I have a few that I actually like. So I'm going to give you three different variations of step ups that I like to include in programming for my athletes. By the way, if you want me to coach you, link is in the description and in the pinned comment. I will take you to the absolute next level. Take your results serious. Okay, but step up. So we have dynamic step ups, we have lateral step ups, and then we have crossover step ups. These are the step up variations that I really like to add in my programming. And once again, you have to be doing these explosively, but these three step up variations are great exercises to add into your plan to increase your vertical jump. Exercise number eight, let's lock in and target the posterior chain. We've also, we've been doing that, you know, deadlifts, et cetera, et cetera. But this one really targets the posterior chain. We're going to do RDLs, so barbell Romanian deadlift or single leg Romanian deadlift. I really, really, really like the single leg Romanian deadlift because of the balance and the stabilization and the stability that you build when you do this exercise. So if I were you, I would add in barbell RDLs or single leg RDLs into your plan to increase your vertical jump and jump as high as possible and to really target that posterior chain. Exercise number nine, which you are now seeing more and more in different vertical jump training programs as it gets popularized, is the Nordic curl. Okay, Nordic curls are a great exercise, not only for your hamstrings, but for your posterior chain in general. Nordic curls are a great option to increase your vertical jump and jump higher. I know a lot of people can't do Nordic curls. So there's, a, there's a bunch of different ways. You could strap your feet into a bench using a weightlifting belt. You can use a door and a belt. Um, there's, there's a lot of ways to do Nordic curls, but Nordic curls is a great exercise for you to do to increase your vertical jump and jump higher. But if you can't do them, barbell RDLs are a good option. Even a hamstring curl, like a lying hamstring curl or a seated hamstring curl that you see at a gym, that is a good alternative. It's not the best ever, okay, for athletes, but it is a good alternative for you to work your hamstrings if you cannot do Nordic curls. And last but not least, exercise number 10, ladies and gentlemen, for this category, for the strength training exercises, I did not save the best exercise for last, but this 10th exercise is a very good exercise. And I use this for all of my athletes in the programming when I coach them through uh, how to increase their own vertical jump. We have band squats superset with band good mornings. And these are two different exercises, but I like to superset them. Every time I do them, I do them as a superset. So band squats and band good mornings, it's just really great for the stretch shortening cycle because you're going up and down, up and down, up and down for 10 to 15 reps as fast as you can. So it just really improves the efficiency of the stretch shortening cycle. And then whenever you do the uh, band good mornings, it's the same thing, working the stretch shortening cycle, but you're working a little bit more of explosive hip extension and the posterior chain. But guys, ladies and gentlemen, these are 20 exercises, 20 of the best exercises that you could be doing to increase your vertical jump and jump higher. Once again, like, comment, subscribe, comment, jump down below if you want a free vertical jump training program. Get my coaching if you want me to personally coach you to a higher vertical jump. I will see you guys in the next video. Add these into your plan to increase your vertical jump and dunk on Antetokounmpo. Young beast mode from the East Coast. A young kid with a West Coast feel. And I don't even know how the West Coast feel. I'm from where it's cold. The city made a still where a lot of n****s fold. Only a couple keep it real right. Back still keep it real tight. Keep two L's just like Cool J. My heart's cold as Ice Cube. Praying it's a good day. I'm at a crossroads, but in a good way. I